Hey everyone. Um, I can't see your questions because I'm going to be unpacking, but if you write your questions in the comments after this video is done streaming, I'll go back and I'll answer your questions about anything you see. So <clears throat> the last time I did a live stream, I was getting ready for our trip to the Mojave Road and the Mojave Road trip was absolutely awesome. We did three nights uh, in the desert, four days, a lot of traveling from where we are now. And we went out with a bunch of Overland Bound members and the desert was in rare form. It was absolutely awesome. The flowers were blooming. We've had quite a bit of rain in California. Thank goodness it's been many years. And so we had a lot of green, we had a lot, of, a lot of flowers, and it was really great. The weather was perfect. If you are interested in seeing pictures over on our Instagram account, which is Overland Bound, we're starting to um, show the pictures from the trip, and uh, it, it was absolutely amazing. Overland Bound in general, if you want to participate in trips like that, come and join us on the forums, look at the community, and um, We'll get you started in overlanding. Doesn't matter what you drive, and it doesn't matter what your level of experience is. We have a whole community there to support you and answer your questions. All right. Last time you guys asked me to do a packing video, I didn't do that, but I thought I'd do an unpacking video. <laughs> so we just got back, and uh, I'm going to be unpacking the truck. We're actually getting ready to go on another trip. So I'm pulling all the gear out, I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit and then get the rig ready to go again. But while I pull things out, I'll answer questions and talk about what I'm yanking out of the truck. Now, I don't know exactly what you're gonna see. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna be PG, but I'll talk about the things that I bring out of the truck, what we used it for, and it'll probably spark some memories of the trip as well. Won't be that long a video, maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll cut it and get back to answering your questions if you guys enter it in the comments, all right? Let's get started. Okay, so this is a little bit of a new configuration for me. Trash and Roo came in very handy. Um, I'm not promoting this stuff. We don't get any money for any of this stuff, uh, but I'll let you know what we do use. Um, th this keeps your garbage on the outside of your vehicle and uh, straps conveniently to your spare tire. We had a blowout. Um, we had a blowout because we did some damage to the tire on the trail. We didn't know how bad the damage was and then we drove it on the freeway and you can see, well I think you can probably see, this is not normal for a tire. Uh, the tread actually separated from the tire because it was gashed on the side. Didn't notice how bad it was. We had a blowout, fix that. Crash Roo, these are our max tracks. Uh, we didn't use those on this, on this trip, but great for getting you out of a stuck place. Water, gas on both sides. All right. I personally like this North Face uh, duffel bag uh, because it is water resistant. It is not waterproof, but it's very durable. And the zippers come undone um easily now this and this go together this little genius thing you need it especially when you're off grid and there's no facilities you can dig a hole to take care of your business but this is your latrine it unfolds lovely it's clean i threw away all the waste and it's just got legs that unfold. It's got a special bag. That's all set. Okay. Now, this goes with the latrine, especially if you are um, traveling with a bunch of people. You need privacy. And this, you know, some of you guys don't need privacy. I like a little bit of privacy. And this, as you can see, 
folds out very quickly, goes over the latrine, you got a little bit of privacy. All right. Now, we don't have a refrigerator. The inside of our rig by um, overlanding standards is fairly modest. It's fairly stock. So any cold goods, we have a five day cooler that goes with us. Throw some meat there on your way out of town and you'll have a steak. Coleman Lantern. My flippy floppies. <clears throat> I don't know what this is. Oh, that is for the latrine. It's a powder and it makes everything turn to gel so that it's solid when you Ziploc it and you put it in your trash container. All right, next thing. This is a backup. Uh, air pump compressor um, takes about nine minutes to air up a 35 inch tire so that's not you know all that convenient if you're going to be airing up and airing down all the time this is our scottle it's a grill with legs that's all that is but we do most of our cooking on there this is part of the rooftop tent all right, now this is our um, quick meal kitchen box. This is what we use every morning um, to prepare a quick meal. Right now it's got a lot of fuel containers in there because that's where we stored it on the way back. But it's got cups, it's got silverware, it's got most importantly, oatmeal, bowls, coffee filters. This is the coffee filter holder and a pot so that we can boil water. That's pretty much all you need for a quick meal. Oatmeal, something like that, a pot to boil water, and of course, essential coffee. All right, quick case, first aid kit. We have multiple first aid kits. First aid kit, that comes in handy all the time. Um, this is a tire repair kit, ARB. You wanna travel with a tire repair kit because you're gonna bust a tire. When I traveled down in Baja, uh, you know, you go through your first spare tire, and you feel okay. You go through your second spare tire, start getting a little bit anxious because you only got one more, uh, and you're gonna wanna have it tire uh, tire repair kit socks. Okay, I've got a tarp in case anything, you know, is going to get wet. If it starts to rain, I can throw a tarp up over uh, some of our kit. Now, that's important because Corey and I, nine times out of ten, we sleep in the back of the rig. So what I do is, because we don't want to set up a tent you know, we, we have the rooftop tent. Um, if you come in hot after dark, a lot of times we just, you know, sleep in the back. And so I'll pull my stuff out, and if it's going to rain, I'll throw the tarp over it. Uh, this is a map case. I like this size water. This is just two water containers. Bring plenty of water. Two gallons per person today, per day. Two gallons per person per day. Uh, seems like a lot. Yes, you can get away with less, but that's for dishes, that's for cleaning yourself, that's for making food, that's for drinking. And if it is, if you don't have access to any other water, you want to be on the safe side. Don't mess around with water supply. Make sure you have plenty. All right. This it's a it's it's a mat. It's a, it's a little mat, see, because home's not home until you have a, a mat. All right. <clears throat> this is the Mr. Buddy heater. Uh, if it gets really cold, like it was in Utah this winter, strike up the Mr. Buddy heater. You know, if you're careful, 
This works in confined spaces. Uh, it has not only a tip shut off, but it also has a CO2 shut off. So it'll, uh, if, if uh, the, the concentration of CO2 is too high, it shuts itself off, it won't burn. So it's got a double safety. Again, we're not making money on showing you our gear. <laughs> this is just what we use. That's a good little piece of kit. Um, Glock, little pow pow, kicking around in the, in the back. Um, another first aid kit. Lamp, warmy stuff. This is normally packed, but I used it and just threw it back there. Again, you guys are seeing the truck as it's loaded when we use it. It's, it's been used for quite a few days. So it's not all clean and nice. We've been living out of it. This is called mountain money. This is, uh, you know, day three, you'd be amazed what you can acquire by trading the mountain money. All right. Here, we have a toolkit. Now, my toolkit is comprised of a bunch of stuff that I've needed over the years. Um, so it's a mishmash. It's got all the basics. It's got your screwdrivers. It's got your wire cutters. It's got wire uh, so you can jump a circuit. It's got Allen wrenches, hammer, um, some industrial scissors to cut just about anything. A variety of tools. This is my everything else kit. And the everything else kit has my jumper cables. It's got the battery jump starter. God forbid you're out in the middle of no place and you somehow manage to drain the battery or both batteries. This will jump start you. This is a little solar kit to charge up phones and things of that nature. Um, 200 pound zip ties in here to do all kinds of repairs. I use them on this trip. And then miscellaneous funnel, we've got straps, various other things. This is where my uh, first aid kit goes. Here's a pair of binoculars. Um, not the first aid kit, the, the uh, Fieldcraft Survival Kit. A little bit different than the first aid kit. It's got other things in there like a tourniquet and a flashlight and an IR patch so people can see it from the sky. All right, now this, I can get a lot more efficient about this. This is just our sleeping gear. Sleeping bag, pads, cushy pillows. I can get more efficient about that. It takes up a lot of space, but that's what it is. Now, when I was in Australia, a friend of mine, uh, gave me this saw and said, you don't need a chainsaw as long as you have this. And it actually <laughs> works really well. Saw. This is the uh, winch and recovery kit. Has a tree strap, has gloves, has a controller for the worn winch, um, has a chain and a uh, snatch block. Now this is my kitchen kit. I put stickers on the outside. We have colored stickers. I put stickers on the outside so I know which case this is because we have some Play-Doh cases that look the same. I've got white stickers on one. I've got yellow stickers on another. And this is kitchen kit, right? Dirty kitchen kit. But this has all the basics, including spices, you know, um, oatmeal. Tin foil comes in handy for just about every meal. We keep an extra burner in here. This burner will just go right on the top of a, of a uh, 
you know, canister, or if you have a five gallon or 10 gallon uh, gas bottle, this will go on top of it. It also has lots of silverware. This GSI pinnacle kit, which has a couple of different pots. It's got all your plates and things of that nature. And where would you be? We've already, uh, we've already discussed this, but where would you be um, without hot sauce? You gotta, you gotta have some kind of hot sauce with you. All right, that's what that is. This is actually a pretty compact kit. We've refined it over the years. And we have all this stuff listed on our website. Like we have a, a checklist called uh, the Ultimate Overland Checklist. And it's got a bunch of the supplies. It doesn't cover things like recovery gear and things of that nature, but it, it, it all the expendables and all of the uh, camping kit that we need, we've got a list on our website. If you guys are interested in that, we keep it on the front page because everyone always asks. All right. Um, and I'll say it again. You guys have asked in other channels about these cases. Really good for the price. They range from 25 bucks. I've seen them down to 25 bucks to um, to 45 bucks. They are a great case for the price. They're not waterproof. They're not dustproof. But here in California, even going down dusty roads through the Mojave, they've done just fine for me. I haven't gotten everything all dirty on the inside. Good cases. All right. First aid kit number three. All right, first aid kit number four. Uh, <laughs> this is a shout out to my bro, Mike, at Fieldcraft. Uh, this is a kit that he's developed based on all of his years in the Special Forces uh, and what they, they, uh, they carry. Um, really good kit. This is Uh, Aria camp chair. Um, it, it's a little bit like Tinker Toys. It's a little. It's kind of a pain, the, pain in the ass. Um, they're small, but the trade-off is you have to assemble them. That can be a pain, but they are compact, so that's good. All right, what else we got? Jacket, headlamp. This is actually a two-person emergency essentials kit that I just throw back there. Two-person, two-day uh, kit. If you lose everything else and you got that kit, you'll be okay for a couple of days. This is a nice socket and wrench set to complement my other toolkit. That's the bulk of it. Now, um, I'm going to show you the stack here because some of it's probably off camera. Dun, dun, dun. Hi there, Columbia. Thanks for joining tonight. All right. Now, as I'm uh, getting some of the other stuff, uh, let me mention a couple of things. Um, dog the dog needs a uh, dog needs their over overland kit as well um, every time we go out it's a learning experience so one of the things in our videos uh, you will see is you know I'm, I'm never pretending to know everything because even the most experienced overlanders that I travel with myself included we're always learning something. And so we pay attention, we watch what other people are doing, we adopt their technique if it works, but we're constantly learning things because anything can happen when you're on an adventure, when you're out in the wild. So you're, you're gonna learn new things on every trip. So I never pretend to be the expert in every situation. All right, what else we got here? Well, as you know, 
We do a lot of video. We're going to have a, a video of the Mojave road trip. Um, here's a couple of uh, camera lenses. And this is a camera kit here. The Pelican case really keeps things safe and secure. The other thing I like, I hope you guys can see this. The other thing I like about the Pelican case is with all the spaces, if I've got an empty space, I'm missing something. <laughs> so I don't have to think about it. The other thing is, if I keep this loaded correctly, I know that if I grab this case, I'm gonna be able to take a picture or take some video. I just need one case. And I like this, uh, this air size. It's designed to be carry-on if you're traveling in an airplane. All right, what else? This is a fire kit. Um, the fire kit is just multiple ways to start a fire. That goes into our small kitchen kit that we use every day. I've got camera lenses for an iPhone. There's fisheye lenses and various zoom lenses. This is our drone. DJI Phantom 4, that's what kind of drone that is. This is a small cooler. This goes behind the driver and passenger seat. The large cooler goes in back. This is readily accessible when you're on the trail and you need a meal. And this is other miscellaneous camera equipment, including batteries, various filters, lens covers, which should really be on the camera, and then power cords and things of that nature. We've got lots of power in the cab of the rig. All right. Now, this is one last socket set and the GoPro. And that's about it. I just pulled everything out of the rig. <coughs> now I'll clean out the rig get ready to go on the next adventure, which will be starting tomorrow. Um, we're gonna go camping again. Gonna go on a short journey this time because it is just gonna be a weekend trip. Um, but there are articles and information over on overlandbound.com about this kit, what we carry, and then also in our community forums, if you go over there, it's organized pretty well, depending on the topic you're, you're interested in. You can drill down, ask people about what they bring. There's a lot of information over there. All right, that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, Outfit, Explore. We'll see you soon.